Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my little tutorials. Today we're going to cover the new Hot Pot mini game that has been added to Palia in order to provide the best known so far that I know of way to earn envelopes, which are the funds for the Magi Market event. You will see a timer along the top of the screen that counts down in order to allow up to four people to join your game. I recommend that if you want to fit as many games as possible into the hours in which the market is open, you travel in groups of four or find a group of three other dedicated people who are there to earn some cash and stick together and just spam the play button as soon as you're done with one round. When the game starts, your cards will flip over abruptly. That is your hand, and you will see that the hands of those around you are just the back of the cards, so you can't see. The middle of the screen there, you'll see four piles surrounding a center draw pile. So center is draw random card, and then the four around the outside of that draw deck is the discard area. And you can select from those as well as your neighbors begin to discard things. Fortunately enough for this video, I got a pretty good hand. You'll see that I have two red cards, two blue cards, two yellow cards, and two gray cards. Now, the way that one wins is to ideally get three matching pictures of a matching color. For example, if I got three lobster claws in the blue cards, that would be one set that I would want to retain. The perfect way and what will effectively end the game immediately and make you win just at that point is to get three sets of three cards. So for example, you know, three blue lobsters and three yellow potatoes, right? And then you have two more cards that are kind of left over. Make those match and then pull new cards until you get another match, either from a discard or from the center, if nothing is useful in discard. You'll see that my neighbor to the right just was kind enough to discard something that could be useful to me. So ideally, if none of my other players grab that before it comes to my turn, I'll be able to grab that and keep it in my hand for future use. Now, because I had sets of two of each color, when I decided to add the lobster claw to give myself two of a kind and work towards that three of a kind, I chose randomly. Basically, I chose the corn to get rid of because why not? It doesn't match anything else. That's fine. I recommend not getting rid of, say, like the dumplings where I have two of the same work with what you have and then pull what you need. You'll see once again that my neighbor to my right was kind enough to discard something that I need, another one of the dumplings. Perfect, now I have three matching cards of a color and a picture. So those ones, those dumplings are staying in my inventory. Now I'm faced with a little bit of a conundrum because someone did discard a shrimp, which I have one of, but what I really wanted was a lobster claw. In this case, I'm just gonna chance it. Here's a handy reminder of what my hand actually is. I have a terrible of remembering what I needed in past games and forgetting that I have a new hand now and shouldn't be looking for those items. So while you want to get your turn over as soon as possible for courtesy's sake for the rest of the people playing, just double check.
I haven't been having the best luck pulling seafood, so I've decided to take another tack and take advantage of the fact that another meat card showed up. And I just picked randomly between my shrimps and my lobster claw, one of them to sub out to try my hand at getting some meat instead, either matching or just to get three of a kind so at the end of the game I get more envelopes, because we are at round nine at this point and I start to get antsy. Looks like my gamble may be paying off. Someone else has discarded one of the rolled meat or prosciutto or whatever it is. I will be grabbing that immediately. The more people play hot pot, the less likely you are to get into these later rounds. However, sometimes you just get bad draws and the whole table just is on the struggle bus a little bit. So you'll not likely see rounds going up to 20 if you're playing with people like myself who have played a lot. Um, it's just not that common in my experience, but it does happen. Just as an FYI, it does not matter which set you pull from, or the color, or the picture. If you have all three that match, they're all worth the same. And there we go. I pull the last thing that I need, and the game instantly ends and you'll get a pop-up with how many envelopes you've earned. I really hope this information has helped. You are welcome to give me constructive feedback. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the Discord if you're in it. If not, our community is called Honey Lure Disco, and we can be found on Discord or in-game on Palia. Have a great day, guys.